bear with me, I'm a little under the weather. But what do Bella Hadid, Shay Mitchell, and Chrissy Teigen all have in common? Well, for one, they have a lot more Instagram followers than I do, but that's not what this video is about. Lately, all three celebrities have been rocking the Pat McGrath glitter-infused lip kits. And yes, it looks amazing, but it got me thinking. How practical can wearing glitter on your lips really be? It got me saying, girl, please. Now I am no celebrity, but I do host the occasional red carpet, but I could see myself rocking the glitter lips for a photo shoot or one of those red carpets or for a quick fun video. But not all of us rock at the celebrity lifestyle. We've got normal stuff to do. So I'm gonna put this glitter lipstick to the test. I'm gonna put on this Pat McGrath dupe called Tattoo Junkie. I'm gonna let you guys know my first thoughts and then I'm actually gonna keep it on for my date night tonight with my boyfriend. And then I'm gonna come back and let you know if it's actually worth putting on or if it's just worth the five minute Instagram post. So the real Pat McGrath glitter lip kit actually costs $60. Now that is a lot of money. The most similar one I could find online is by Tattoo Junkie, and this came to a whopping total of $6.88. So if this works, you guys owe me big time. Let's give it a try. All right, let's get glittery. First things first, it's really important that you put one coat of lip paint on, and before it dries, you apply the glitter and I'm just gonna use my fingers. It is a lip stain, so it will dry pretty fast. I actually might do like half my lip with the paint and then apply the glitter. So don't worry about all the excess glitter. I'll deal with that after, but it's going on pretty easy. All right, so now that it's all applied, let's go back around and take off the excess glitter. It's definitely messy. Now I'm actually gonna use just some tape just to stick off all that excess glitter. All right, so I've now cleaned it up. My lips look pretty cool, like a disco ball on my lips. They feel kind of thick. Definitely thick. But I have to say, putting on the lip paint, I loved the pigment. It went on super smooth. It's not drying. You know, once you apply the glitter, I would say it gets a lot more drying. But this lip paint, I would use just on its own. I loved it. So there's my overall thoughts. I definitely have some on my teeth, but I'm gonna go on date night with Chase and then I'm gonna come back and let you know what I think in the end. All right, just got back from dinner and as you can see from my lips, this stuff does not stay on. I mean, it's only been three hours and it looks like I just have a lip liner, like glitter lip liner now. So here's my overall thoughts. It's very uncomfortable. It flakes off. Right when you put it on, the glitter gets in your teeth, in your mouth. Although, when I did kiss Chase, the glitter didn't come off on him. But it's just not worth the hassle, getting the glitter everywhere, having it flaking off. Like, every time you like this, it was like uncomfortable. I, I literally cannot wait to take this stuff off my mouth. <laughs> so overall, Pat McGrath and Tattoo Junkie, I gotta say, girl, no way. Sorry, ain't happening. Honestly, I wouldn't even wear this on the red carpet because it's so awkward, it gets in your teeth. Like that is not attractive. So it does look cool. It is glitz and glam for a good one minute Instagram post, but that's it. Moral of the story, do whatever you want in life that makes you happy. If glitter lip gloss puts a smile on your face and brings out self-confidence, rock it. For me, I love glitter, but not necessarily on my lips. Well, that is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. The selfie queen is back in the news again. This time it's for taking 6,000 selfies. Girl, please. And I have to accomplish 50 selfies every minute. I could whip it up, fix you up straight away.